Thirteen Honda Genesis Coupe. Honda Genesis Coupe. Honda. Honda Genesis Coupe. Honda Genesis Coupe. Your voice is gonna be in the video. Yeah. Every time oh. I see it, I'm the like, thing's oh, a Honda. But then I'm like, oh, it's a fancy Honda. <laughs> 2013 Honda Genesis. Yeah. Welcome back to Dan's Hangout Garage. Sorry, but we are not working on the Volkswagen today to my subscribers. We'll get to that pretty soon, but right now we got a side project we got to get done for a client. We're going to do some rear brakes on this 2013 Hyundai Genesis 2.0 Turbo. Yeah, uh, love those turbo motors. I've already got a tool set out right here, so let's jump on and we're going to grab the GoPro and start working on it. All right, well, first thing we're going to have to do is get the car jacked up. All right, next thing we need to do is get the wheel off. All right, wheel's off. Let's dig in and get these uh, calipers off and get the rotor off. All right, you can see uh, she's kind of a little low. She's starting to hit the squeaker and grind it down. So what we need to do first is unbolt. I think these are 12s. Then the caliper will come off. And then back here in the back, we have some 17s, I think. There's one on the top, one on the bottom down there. We'll get those off and we'll get the caliper bracket housing off. Now here's a big problem, which I hate about these cars. That little Phillips right there. A lot of those times, those do not want to come out and you have to drill them out. So hopefully we'll get lucky and be able to get them out. So. We're gonna get try to get these Phillips out real quick. Let's see if. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, and number two. Yes, they came out, which is a good thing. All right. Let's see. It's out of ten. No. So I guess it's the twelve or thirteen. Fourteen. Oh, my bad. It wasn't 12. It's a 14. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Alright, caliper bolts loose. Get the caliper off set it down I'm not supposed to let it hang but oh well now we got our trusty 17 okay got that one loose Let's see back in this one loose The bracket uh, she's still got quite a ways before she even hits the squeaker so but she still wants them changed anyways put that to the side and let's see if we can get the rotor off oh yeah look at that nice little e-brake setup old drum brake setup whatever well, let's be all right well we got the new rotor on what I forgot to mention is they got these little plugs. Uh, let's see. That's in the old one. So we need to take it out of the old one and plug it in here. This is a little inspection hole to tighten up the e-brake. So this is supposed to meet up with this little deal. So you can tighten it up. But now we're going to go ahead and put it back on. Yep, wrong way. I forgot to look. Y'all's gonna match these holes with those holes. So, there goes the rotors on. Take our two Phillips. And 
screw it back on. You know, I was thinking, I was a little scared, having fun, you know, doing my YouTube channel for the first time, and I went back and watched a few of my older videos. I was working on this blue Stang, the, it's a 2004 Mustang, and uh, I just realized how weird I sounded. <laughs> so, hey Dan, uh, kick over to that video. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, been a couple weeks working on the blue stang here. Did have to order a fuel pump. Yeah, see what I mean? Yeah, I was like really weird. I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to do that, you know. But time to get the brake hardware on this thing. Ah, oh. and then do the other side. There you go. Now we can reinstall this. Where'd the bolts go? Oh, hopefully my camera's seeing this. Oh, because I can barely see it. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Get them both started. Snug down. Time to grab a set of pads. Okay, squeaker goes on the back. <laughs> Alright, well the, the best way I think to push the caliper back in, take an old pad. I use these right here. They know they make a tool for it. And I just slowly work it back down. Kind of hard to do sometimes. I crank it. There we go. Now it should fit. Back on. Yeah, buddy. Uh-oh. What are you doing with the bolts? Blur they are. So we have successfully completed one side of this brake job. So all we gotta do now is get the wheel back on and head over to the other side. So wheel in three, two, one, and the wheel's back on. So all we gotta do now, drop the jack, head over to the other side, and work on that side. So let's move on over there. I'm going to go ahead and set up a camera for a time lapse. And y'all just sit back and watch. Thank you. Today is going to be a little something more. I've got a plan in mind, a special thing in store. The light bulb inside my head said, get up and play. Because you never.
get the brakes done on this before my comments blew them up yes I did forget to add a little lubricant so I have to take it back apart so I'm not gonna film that <laughs> and the other thing is is when you get done doing the brakes before you send it off with the person or if you're doing it at home make sure you start the car and pump the brakes pretty good I like to seat the brakes by driving you know 20 30 miles an hour and then slowly applying the pressure to the brake and then get up to about 40 and then slowly apply pressure to the brake to let them seat into the new rotors uh so we're gonna end this for right now i gotta <laughs> take this back apart add a little bit uh slick them to the brake pad so they'll nice and slide back and forth nice and easy so Remember to comment, like, to shot, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. <sighs> and uh, hope to see you every Thursday. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to check out Style Life. Get you some cool new t-shirts. All right. Catch y'all again. Okay. Because you never.